Now let's welcome in Todd Lewis covering this week's Sanderson Farms Championship. Todd, so much of the southeast uh, obviously impacted areas devastated by Hurricane Helene. And that's felt by a number of the players in the field this week. Yeah, specifically two of them, one being Luke List and Henrik Norlander. Luke List obviously would like to win for the third time in the PGA Tour, defend his championship here. Henrik Norlander, he'd like to play well. He's fighting for his PGA Tour playing privileges next year. But both those players come here with a heavy heart after what happened in their hometown of Augusta, Georgia, as Hurricane Helene made its deadly path here in the United States. It went right over Augusta. Now, these are pictures that Luke List gave me from just his neighborhood. You see many trees down, a lot of those trees falling onto structures, downing power lines, thousands and thousands of trees down in Augusta. They had close to 13 inches of rain, so flooding was an issue as well. So Norlander and List have teamed up together to put together a program called Birdies for Augusta here at the Sanderson Farms Championship. They are gonna contribute $500 for every birdie made by them. And so far, cumulatively, they have raised $4,500. They have nine birdies between Henrik Norlander and Luke List. And they are asking the public to reach out and contribute as well, saying you can go to the Community Foundation's website, cfcsra.org, include the Red Cross to contribute and help those in need, many of them still without power. As a matter of fact, Norlander and List left Augusta early to come here to Mississippi because their homes had no power. Now, Augusta National is also stepping up to help the community there in Augusta. And by the way, the golf course, according to Fred Ridley, the chairman of Augusta National, received, quote, a lot of damage. But right now, the concern is about the citizens there. So Augusta National announced today in a joint effort with the Community Foundation for the Central Savannah River area that they will donate $5 million dollars to help out the community there and the devastation. And there's been a lot of attention paid on Western North Carolina, and deservedly so, but there was quite a bit of damage, as Luke List was telling me, in Augusta, Georgia. And you may think, what about the Masters next year? Well, right now, the community and Augusta National not really focused on that first major championship of 2025. They are instead focused on getting that community up and running again and helping those in need. George? Todd, so much work uh, still to be done.